Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Notepad version in Windows 11 that will be released pretty soon. And this new version of Notepad will add AI capabilities to the app. And in this video, we're going to talk about briefly what we know so far, what is hidden right now in the operating system. And of course, we're going to discuss about AI and see whether it's a good thing or not that Microsoft is starting to implement AI in a lot of Windows apps. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, most of you who are Windows 11 users know already that Microsoft has started to implement AI inside the Photos app, inside Paint, and they added some interesting features that will be pretty useful. For example, inside the Photos app, you can remove the background of an image using AI, or in the Paint app, you can create images or generate images using AI. I think that is pretty cool. Well, now Microsoft is starting to implement AI inside the Notepad app, and they plan to integrate AI into other apps in Windows 11 as well in the year 2024. So let me show you how this looks. I have here some screenshots, of course, that I'm going to show to you in this video because these results and the AI inside Notepad is not something that you can achieve right now using normal steps in Windows 11. So these are some screenshots that were gathered from Twitter, from Phantom Machine 3, from Albacore, or the book is closed. And if there are any other guys, they will be mentioned either in the comments below or on the screen. And as you can see, this is how the new Notepad app will look. We will have here in the right side a new co-writer icon and co-writer is basically the AI part of Notepad and when you click on it you're going to have some options rewrite make shorter make longer change tone and change format basically if you have a text a composition or anything you'll be able to make it shorter make it longer change the tone or change the format and I think that is pretty interesting and it could be pretty useful also as stated by Phantom Ocean 3 this will also require a Microsoft account and will be locked behind a waitlist when it starts to roll out so basically you're going to have to enter your email and you're going to have to wait until you're going to get access to this. Also, there are other things. When you select the text and right click on it, you're going to notice the same options and um, some new options inside the context menu. Make shorter, make longer, change tone, change format. And as you can see, for example, when you hover over change format, you're going to have some options such as default, paragraph, list, business, academic. And basically Microsoft now encourages users to use Notepad more for writing text. And AI will come in handy because it will help you change the tone or the format of your written text, I think that is pretty, pretty nice. Also, hidden in Windows 11, we have a screenshot of how a menu could look inside Notepad with some additional functions and some additional things inside Notepad, and I think that is pretty interesting. Of course, this is only a render of how that would look, but it's looking pretty good. Of course, we don't know much about this new AI integration inside Notepad. The only things we know are the things that are hidden right now in Windows 11, but I think these are some pretty interesting things, and of course, we're looking for to see what Microsoft is planning to introduce inside Windows and in other apps as well. I'm looking forward to seeing your opinion in the comments below. What do you think about Microsoft starting to implement AI even more inside Windows? In my opinion, it's good and it's a nice idea, but I'm hoping that this will not be in the detriment of our system resources. And I'm hoping that certain AI features won't be closed out behind a paywall or something like that. I'm hoping that Microsoft keeps Windows 11 as free as possible. It would be great, but of course, if they plan to put certain things behind a paywall at least that should be a big thing a huge thing i don't know but hopefully microsoft tries to keep windows 11 as free as possible and with features like these for example right now in the notepad which will allow you to rewrite or shorten up a text these things are pretty useful in my opinion of course i'm looking forward to your opinion in the comments below so feel free to leave that below basically this was the video for today we've talked about the new notepad ai integration which i think is pretty interesting if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.